Okay, we're going to start assembling the gearbox, um, which I shall try and do on camera, but obviously it's difficult because the camera wants to be where I want to be, and uh, it can't be. So I've moved it. Ho hopefully I can work around the camera, uh, but we'll see. Right, okay, uh, so first thing I'm going to do, I've got some gearbox oil. I haven't got assembly lube because it's a bit different for a gearbox. It's, it's first thing I do is hit the camera. So uh, because we're putting the oil straight, it's all splash fed, the gearbox. It's not pressure fed. There's no uh, plain bearings or anything. So, um, you know, uh, and, and the we're going to fill the gearbox full of oil before we even start the engine. Or turn it so um, that's why I'm going to use uh, oil gearbox oil rather than uh, assembly lube right so I'm just oiling the uh, needle roller bearing at the back then I've got the cam plate here okay so let's have a look uh, let me get this right uh, so there we go so here's the cam plate and these notches are where the gears are and this plunger this comes up through that hole there we screw it in there we're going to screw it in there in a minute and the plunger comes up and it engages with these grooves so that's first gear neutral second third i can do this one-handed fourth and fifths all the way around there fourth third second neutral first okay and that's actually this that turns and then this plunger which is spring loaded okay and we need to make sure that that is really moving really freely that spring okay and, uh, and that's all looped up as well let's put a bit more oil on it but it sits in the bottom of the gearbox it always gets a lot of oil so then uh i've checked the cam plate uh that it's I think we said before, you know, I can't see any visible signs of wear. There's no distortion on it. It's completely flat. There's no teeth damaged or, oops, there's no teeth damaged or missing off the back, which is what drives it around. So I think we're okay. Put some lube on this. And then there's this boss here. And then we simply put that in there and make sure it goes fully home. Sometimes it can fight back because the air can't get out, but that's gone in. Then I'm going to turn to the uh, first gear position now, on a T160, where it's the first notch. Uh, but you've got this here, which is the um, neutral indicator lug. That's that's the lug that, that pushes on the switch, allegedly, <laughs> to tell you that you're in neutral. Okay, so I'll put, I'm going to put the... Uh, uh, I forget what it's called. It's probably got a proper name, but plunger the plunger just going to screw it i'm going to screw it in from the bottom but i'm only going to screw it in half probably less than that just a bit okay can we see that i'm just screwing it in a half at the bottom just so that it's it's engaging with the uh cam plate but only loosely so i can turn the cam plate quite quite easily all right so that's first gear neutral Second, third, fourth, fifth, fourth, third, second, neutral, first. Right, now to assemble the gearbox, we want it in neutral. So I'll put it through to the second notch. There we go. Uh, then I think <laughs> I'm now trying desperately to remember the order of assembly. We have the thrust washer first. And that little uh, hole in the thrust washer goes on that little peg. It's so difficult doing this on camera. Um, goes into that little peg there. It's all right. If I look at what I'm doing, then I miss. I tend to have things not in. You can't see them on the camera. So if then I look through the camera, you know, it's a bit like doing something underwater. There's like a bit of refraction, and wherever you're pointing isn't quite in exactly the right place. If you know what I mean. Right. Yeah. So that would help having the uh, thrust washer on first. And so I've now got the final drive gear, which I've oiled. Just got the new oil seal in the end, and I'm going to. Uh, I've oiled the, the um, uh, sort of mating, the inner race, if you like, the inner race here that goes on the bearings at the end. I'm going to 
put that in. That's, only, that's it. Just going to just slots in there, so it's now running on that uh, bearing. Then uh, I think I'm putting no. I'm going to put the main shaft itself in next. So I've got the main shaft, and that's going to just slot in. But before I do that, I, oh, damn, I have to put the um, fourth gear. I have to put fourth gear on first because fourth gear can only go on the main shaft from the, this end. Uh, okay, you can't put it. You can't put it on from the outside end. You have to put it on from the in, inner end. So that goes on. And then there's a groove on that fourth gear for the first selector shaft, and that's this particularly long one, and it goes in with the flat end towards us. Okay, so I'm going to put that in through the high drive bearing until it goes home. And then, you probably can't see, but there's the grooves in the cam plate. And that um, little lug on the, the lug on the end of the fork slits in into its groove because I've got the, I've got the gearbox in uh, neutral. Okay. Yeah. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to sneak up the gearbox into first gear. Right now that stops that lug from falling out. If it's in neutral, it falls out. And because it's at the back of the gearbox, it's hard to put back in once you've put the rest of the gears in. So there's a little sneaky trick. I then got the lay shaft with fourth and fifth gear already on. I've oiled the spigot on the end, and that is. And uh, now that we've got the uh, thrust washer in, this simply goes in there and just sits there. So we've got fourth and fifth gear in on the lay shaft, fourth and fifth gear on the main shaft, and the first of the selector forks in. Right, now what goes on next? That's a very good question. I think the next thing that goes on is third gear on the lay shaft. Now, the third gear, uh, I think that's right, yeah. Uh, third gear has the next selector fork on, which is that one, and the flat side goes towards the flat side of the fork that's already in there. And these two selector forks go on the lay shaft. So we can slide that in. And again, oh, I need to now sneak it back up into neutral briefly. To get, and then put it straight back. I have to put it into neutral to engage the, the little lug. But then I put it back into first and stop the one at the back falling out. So we've got third gear in... Uh, on the lay shaft and now we've got third gear with the dogs on that slides onto the main shaft and hopefully engages with the third gear on the lay shaft come on get on there get on there you go so it just pushes on and mesh the gears so that's third gear and then what have we got we've got uh, second gear which goes second gear on the lay shaft with the grooves in it for the for the dogs uh, facing that way. There it goes. Then, oh yeah. Then I think we need to next. We need to put this is the combined second and first gear that goes on the main shaft, and I think we need to put that in next. So I can mesh. There we go. So that's now meshed the second gear as much as second gear. Then we've got, finally, we've got the first uh, first gear, which goes on the lay shaft. And again, we've got the last of the uh, selector forks. So it goes in that groove at the back. And this is the short little stubby selector fork, again, with the flat side towards the back. So now I get that on. And again, I just need to sneak up into neutral to 
engage and if I can just turn this that's why I've only got this uh, I've only got the plunger in loosely so that I can easily turn this there it goes Ooh, and then whacked it straight back into first and hopefully that one at the back hasn't fallen out so that I can now put the uh, fork selector shaft in and that will hold everything in place so the fork selector shaft has a little flat at one end which I can't there it is has a flat at this end okay and that goes in first the idea is it's a blind hole at the other end and without that flat yeah you know the air keeps pushing it back out again so that allows the air to escape so if if I've managed to hold that selector at the back up Get in there. Is it not? Is it not? Is it come out? I think it might come out. Can't see. I'll just get my torch. Yeah, it's come. It's come out. Even though I use that sneaky method, it's come out. So I use my my. Other clever trick, which is um, a magnet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my magnet on that fork at the back. You probably might not be able to see this. And lift it back into position. Am I in? I have to go. I'll have to go into neutral because it won't go in otherwise. Uh, put it in neutral. Use my magnet to lift it. And hopefully, a stronger magnet. I can't see what I'm doing. Come on, I'm getting there. You little beggar. Uh, might have to take it all apart again. Doesn't seem to want to lift in. Can't get it in. It's. Am I, am I in neutral? I'm in neutral, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. It won't, doesn't want to seem to go into its little groove. Ah, well, that, there's, there it was. There, it's gone in. Whew. Right, yeah, the groove is in a different place than I thought it was. There we go. And that just pushes that home. And there we have all the gears assembled. So then I'm going to put the uh, circlet back on the lay shaft. There's a little groove cut in the lay shaft there. Make sure it's uh, in the groove, which it now is. And then the last thing we do is to put this um, sort of drive dog, I think it's called, on. And we just want to make sure that the uh, the dogs go into the gaps. Uh, there, uh, actually, it's in neutral, so it won't. Now, I think we put it into first. Yeah, that's why we, okay, we need it in first now um, so that we can index the gears when we put the inner cover on. So we have the gearbox in neutral to assemble it and then as soon as it's assembled and we've managed to get the, the fork selector shaft in, then we put it into first. And there we go. Those, that's the gear, that's the gear, <laughs> that's the gear kind of uh, assembled. Which, um, kind of made it more difficult, I think, than it was, but, you know, I don't know. I've done these many times, and and each time I forget what goes where and the, which which gear you put in first, you know, and which you know, whatever, which which shaft you put in first. And anyway, but uh, that's the the main workings of the gearbox now assembled, and so we're now getting ready to fit the inner cover of the gearbox and do that mystical triumph thing of indexing the gears. <laughs> 